all right welcome to another episode of the middle-aged metalhead i uh, hope you're all doing well and staying safe so today we're going to be doing another episode of uh, four random records chosen by the discord zap which is kind of like a fun way of pulling out stuff that i haven't heard in a while i guess and uh, four interesting uh, records pulled out uh, today not uh, yeah well we'll find out how it goes so first up Autopsy Shit Fun. Now, this was originally released in uh, 1995, I think, and this is the 2012 uh, Peaceful version. And of the first four Autopsy albums, this one's my least favorite. In fact, for the longest time, I didn't want a physical copy of this just because of this, you know, absolutely repulsive cover. I mean, I've got a lot of death metal in the collection, but this, fuck, this is... Uh, a bridge too far but then I also wanted the first four uh, full lengths and uh, finally bit the bullet like a couple of years ago I think and uh, got this and yeah this is an album that's actually uh, grown on me over time and uh, it's got a very very grindy punky feel to it even more so than the first three albums but um, yeah, this is an album that's really grown on me over time. I mean, damn, that cover really is a bit too much. But otherwise, uh, Shit Fun is a surprisingly enjoyable record. Now, this is a reissue that Peaceful did in 2012. Probably a digital master, at least I think that's what it says on Discogs. The sleeve is pretty bare bones, just the lyrics, which is more repulsive stuff. But then, you know, it is autopsy, you wouldn't want anything else from them. And the album itself, over there, we've got the center labels. And quite nicely done, nice thick heavy vinyl uh, record and overall quite nice. Not something I play very often, but uh, still quite... Uh, a nice little piece to have in the collection. So first up, Autopsy, shit fun. Next, this is an interesting one, uh, American uh, death thrash metal band, Sadis, and this is Chemical Exposure. This was, I think, initially released also under the name of Illusions back in uh, 1988 and uh, in some markets it got released as chemical exposure i used to have a really shitty sounding uh, bootleg cassette of this back in the day maybe in the mid 90s or so and this is the reissue that listenable did in 2017 and to be honest this is one of the shittiest sounding uh, records that i have like just a really bad sounding record Maybe they just put an MP3 on wax, I don't know what they did, but here yeah, it honestly doesn't sound that much better from uh, the bootleg cassette that I used to have, you know, it's that bad. Great album, really, really good album, but I would say if you can't find uh, an original uh, Road Racer pressing, then you're probably better off with the CD, because this really does not sound good. The music is great, the pressing is pretty pretty bad. Sadis, Chemical Exposure, terrific album let down by a very poor pressing from uh, listenable records from France. And finally, another great great band, this time from Japan. Uh, started sometime in the 90s I guess as a sort of uh, avant-garde uh, black metal band and that is Sai and this is their 2018 release Air to Despair now Sai actually kind of lost me a little bit after what was it uh, Gallows Gallery and Hangman's Hymn both albums which I really really like but then the few after that like uh, Grave Birds and uh, Insomniphobia they really didn't do much for me at all but this album, I think they put this out in uh, 2018, 
fantastic. I mean, absolutely fantastic. They're kind of like a blackened psych rock band at this stage. Or maybe you call it psychedelic metal because there is still a bit of classic metal influence in this. But just wow. The songs are catchy, they're trippy, they're spaced out. Uh, it is just, and that cover is creepy as fuck, right? I mean, there is something seriously creepy going on here. But yeah, Sai, Air to Despair, fantastic little album. One of my favorites from 2018. And if not for uh, Boy Boy releasing an album that year, it probably would be my favorite. Pretty bare bones packaging. Uh, the lyrics are all in Japanese. Uh, mostly in Japanese anyway. Some of it is in English as well. And uh, this came out in candlelight in 2018 when it first came out. But this year for Record Store Day, they did put out a, a colored version. I think it was white and purple or some merge color like that. Looked fantastic. But uh, yeah, since I already had this, I didn't need to really pick that Record Store Day version up. So a uh, short update this time. This is the middle-aged metalhead signing off for now. Uh, stay metal, stay safe. Cheers.